What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, kind of in a small dilemma right now. On today's video, I want to get the charger mounted and the charger accessories mounted on the golf cart. I've been back and forth on where to put the charger. The Roy Powell charger is IP66 rated, I think. So it's, it's splash proof, but it's not, you know, submersible, which is, I think it's just about the same as all the other, uh, uh, marine grade or ip66 or sealed golf cart chargers is on the market when i had these bodies painted i got the front of the body fully shaved okay uh no more f and r switch on the front of the body and no more charging receptacle either so the front of this body is fully shaved um, i don't want to drill any holes in this body here for a charged receptacle i want to keep it just nice and clean and I guess, you know, that has made the challenge for this right here a little bit more difficult. And it's not just because of mounting the charger, but there's not much storage on this golf cart at all. I got my trunk. I got my left hand side or my driver's side uh, battery compartment. I have my passenger side battery compartment, but my front cubbies, they're gonna be covered up with a dash. I don't even have cup holders. These are my cup holders right here. And uh, I kind of want to keep some room inside of the battery compartment area of stock in case we think of something else later. You know, I, I said, I think in the last video, I would love to run cooler over there. If I run a 12 volt battery in here, the 12 volt lithium battery in here, I'm going to be even more cramped for space. And right now I could use all the space that I could get my hands on. So I've been back and forth. Should I put a 12 volt battery in here or should I just put a 12 volt or you know a 72 to 12 volt reducer in here? I am back and forth on so many things. And the charging system for today's video, we're gonna simplify it because I was going over the top with some things that I haven't really seen on a golf cart yet. I'm not gonna mention those things, maybe in a later video or we'll put it on a different cart. But anyways, today's video, we're gonna mount the charger install the noco gcp1 adapter somewhere on this golf cart i haven't figured it out yet i kind of got an idea and try to tighten up all the wires and um, hopefully we can have that right there completed in today's video so with that being said let's quit talking let's start working so one of the spots i was wanting to mount the charger was directly behind the front cow here you see my hand down there this spot right here the mounts against this Jake uh, lift plate here or the front plate. I was going to mount it to there and face it forward into this cavity right here. But I am restricted from like one inch of room. Not sure if you've seen it in the last clip, but I thought about putting it on the frame rail right here and facing it inward. Okay. The only thing about this is on the bottom plate of the uh, charger here, I'm only going to be able to get two bolts going through the frame. So I'm kind of kind of hesitant on that as well. Um, the tires will not hit it. It'll be on the inside of the frame rail. When the tires are turning, I mean, we're talking at least a foot away from the tires to the charger itself. So I'm not worried about that either. I kind of like that it's out of the way. I would probably get rid of that yellow sticker on there. And I thought about even Plasti Dip in the back of it black. You know, Plasti Dip isn't permanent, and I could always peel it off if I ever had to. It would just hide it up there. So I thought about doing that as well. Then running the two wires down below the frame rail to the back of the golf cart. So I thought about mounting it to this back wall right here. I would have to take the uh, grinder or the flap disc remove a little bit away from this portion here of the mount and the same at the bottom. Once I remove those, this right here should then sit perfectly flat or flush against this top rail here. It's only hanging over maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch, if that. So wouldn't be much to just mount it right here. Then it's pretty much out of the, the elements altogether. I thought about mounting it down here as well. Once we get our plate, we can put it right here as well. Really and truly, I think this might be the best option for it, even though I like it better on the front of the golf cart. 
So what do you guys think? I've gave you four options. Where would you mount it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really thinking about mounting it right here. It looks perfect right here beside the controller since I have the solenoid over here, okay? And the next step is the NOCO GCP1. Where are we gonna mount that at? Well, I'll show you what I have in mind as well. Since this is the controller, this could be the charger section here. This is the solenoid. I thought about mounting the NOCO GCP1 directly right here above the frame rail beside the solenoid. That way I can reach in here through the fender well and plug the golf cart in to charge it. It's out of the way, it's discreet. I know where it's at, it's, you know, it's hidden, it's custom, and I like that a whole lot. I'm just not sure if I wanna do it on the driver's side or the passenger side. And if I did it on the passenger side, I could put it exactly where I wanted to because there's nothing that's mounted over here at all. So I know it's not much, right? I wonder if we could take this handle off here to save a little bit more room if we mount it on the wall vertically. I mean, we're talking an inch. I know it's not very much, but hey, every inch matters, okay? So let's pull off the back cover here and see if we can access this handle. It'd be sweet if we could and just go ahead and remove it. We really don't need it. So we got 12 Phillip head bolts, it looks like here, or very tiny screws. Let's open this thing up. All right, let's see. Check that out. What a score. Check that out. Man, I've hit it big. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 50, 65, 67, $167, y'all. Oh my God, yes, I'm rich. I mean, Roy Powell, I might take the battery apart next to see if there's any money in there. I don't know what to do. Look at all that money I got, y'all. Mm -mm. We just gotta make it rain up in this mother. No, but seriously, that was a stupid bit. I took it off. You can't access the uh, the handles in here, and you do have a waterproof gasket, so that's pretty cool. Now, we're gonna reassemble this thing back for like the third time, and uh, put it back together. When you're reassembling it, you have two small holes, one in the bottom left, one in the top right corner, and you have guide pins down there as well, so they're just gonna fall directly in place, like so. We're gonna screw this back together and we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start taking this right here and flap this in both sides down so we can mount it against that wall. Yeah, I better pick this up. I need this. I need every little bit I can get. That's it, boy. Get in there nice and deep, lad. That's not good. Got some of it cut off as you can see it's it's going right there to the edge i wanted to retain those holes and i did it on both sides so that's better than 167 dollars right there boys hold it in place mark it drill the holes and we're gonna mount it probably just use some quarter 20 hardware all right guys the charger's now mounted i put the top bolts uh going from the outside to the inside i put the bottom bolts going from the inside the outside so there's four bolts quarter 20s with nylon locking nuts holding everything together all right so the microphone just died so i have it uh, charging or whatnot so i hope you guys can hear me okay but i need to drill a hole here it needs to be a two inch hole for the noco and if you guys ever seen one of these or if you haven't ever seen one of these basically it's just a waterproof connection extension uh, cord will plug directly into here and your charger will plug directly into here you know you got a waterproof cover people use these on like automobiles and all kinds of things so after thinking about that real quick that's right i could do it over here directly in the middle and i could probably gain access from it straight through the tire so i'm not going to come out here to the angle and doing it 
Never know how it is getting off the golf cart late at night. You know what I mean. So, I think that's what we're gonna do. So it takes a two inch hole saw. I have a two and one eighth of an inch. We're just gonna run with that. There we go. Be sure to get the coupon out the uh, hole. Go. That's what it's going to look like right there. We're going to pop three. Uh, it comes with three screws. I think we'll probably just use those screws to put in there, kind of like a metal screw. That doesn't, doesn't look too bad. And uh, and it's hidden as well. All right, these are the three screws that's provided with a NOCO. These are like a uh, sheet metal with a self tapping bit at the very end. And it's got a Phillips head. And they're black to match that. So let's put them in. There it is, it's mounted. I think it looks pretty good. What you guys think? Next thing I gotta do is to put the charger um, interlock on here. This is what I'm talking about here. It connects to the charger, snaps into place. It's got ring terminals on the both ends. I ran the, the charger wire and the receptacle wire over. I was wanting to run them down like over on this back side back here, but this old battery cross member or cross beam is in the way. I was going to pull these up in a different video, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one up now. I hope it don't give me any problems. Well guys, the charger is now mounted. It's done. Okay, it's not going anywhere. Got these wires zip tied here, going up underneath there. Uh, sometime this week, I'm gonna make a plate to fit down in this right here side compartment and the passenger side as well. So that's done. These wires from the controller are in. I got everything going up underneath the battery here and cutting back, cutting up underneath the battery here and going over here. We have the NOCO installed and well, I hate that. Like, seriously, I just, ooh, I just despise seeing all of these wire ties. With the body on, you're not gonna see none of this. I understand that. I know it's there and I hate it, but I don't know what else to do with it. And truly, I don't wanna put it where you might be able to see it when the seat up, you know, on either side. So I'd rather it be ugly back here, then up into there. I need to take these two pieces of angle out um, in the next video, grind those down, get those plates made. Uh, like I said, we're gonna try to use this for, um, hopefully, hopefully it's just a spare compartment, some uh, storage in here maybe, and over there, not exactly sure yet, maybe throw the lithium battery in there or might just throw a DC to DC reducer in there. Not exactly sure yet, but I feel like we're just cramming it all in here. I hate this. I hate the way this looks, but you can't see it with the body on and it's all secure. You know, it's not, it's not going anywhere. So let's put the body on the back real quick. So with the body on the rear, like I'm saying, we still got storage in here. That's the kind of fitment that we have there. I think that looks pretty good. It's tight, it's in there. This is inside of that compartment there. I do have a cover, we'll throw that on next. Coming down, see you can't see those wires, so that's good. One of the wires you can see are the wires that's going from the motor into the controller. I thought about getting a big wire loom to put those in, not exactly sure yet. I got a cover. I just used some Krylon black. I don't want to say it's satin, maybe. Painted that. You know, it was kind of beat up. It was from another golf cart. This is what I use here, Rust-Oleum. I thought it was Krylon, but it's Rust-Oleum satin. Dries quick. Did the same thing with the bumper there. Just satin on the bumper. Not professional, just DIY. This is what this channel is about, just DIY stuff. 
I think it looks pretty good, you know. I'm not going to be scared to get out there and, you know, it may hit a ditch or something, but that's what the back's going to look like. You can't see those wires. Let's see. Here we go. This is the NOCO. It's not bad, right? So you really can't see it from the side, which I like. But it's easily accessible right there, right? So... What I might do, I was thinking I might give me some window foam and stick on the very top of this uh, rail up here that goes all the way across just to make sure it gives me a good enough seal, maybe on the sides over there as well. Not sure, but hey, it's coming together. All right, I had to get my hat on. Somebody said in the last video that my head was shiny and uh, I know, man, getting old sucks. Anyways. I want you guys to tell me what you would have done differently in this situation. Would you have put the charger over there? Would you have put the no code down there in the fender well? I don't know. What would you have done? I want to hear from you guys in the comments below what you guys would have done differently as far as today's video goes on your golf cart. So uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And until next time, guys, we'll see y'all later.